right hi y'all i just did a live i'm just ex letting you guys know that i did decide to put in my resignation at my job at my full-time job i cannot i cannot emotionally follow through with a two-week notice unfortunately <laughs> i know I always talk about leaving a job on good terms, but I put, I didn't just like drop it, but I let them know because I called out Friday and Saturday, Monday came around and I called out again. <laughs> I don't know how to put it in words, but people that deal with depression, deal with anxiety, it's a different level. It's not like... I shouldn't, I'm not trying to explain myself, but my channel is based on explaining things in hopes that it can help somebody else out or to let people know that they are not alone. When you feel like you just shut down emotionally, you want to cry before you go into work, you just want to crawl into bed that's not a feeling I want to feel anymore. And I've been feeling like that. I just got off of short-term disability like a month ago and I'm already using vacation time again. It comes to a point where you just have to be real with yourself, right? What's causing your frustration? What's causing you to feel the way you're feeling? And the only way I know how to get past this and i've been saying this for years and you guys if you see some of my videos from 2020 i wanted to quit before but i kept going and then i got on to um short-term disability i got on a medical accommodation and it's just been an ongoing cycle i'm ready to break that cycle and stop thinking that i'm emotionally unwell all the time like <laughs> am I really that un so emotionally drained like out because outside of that when I'm on vacation and all of these things I feel good but as soon as I have to go to work I every my whole mood changes and it's been like that for years and it's just time for me to be honest with myself you know I'm just starting to be honest with myself, pinpointing what's going on. Now, I know a lot of people will be like, Candice, you have so many jobs. What what's up with this? The 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 uh, blah, blah. the jobs is not the problem. It's I had first originally took on um Amazon for me for me to get out the house, which is good, okay? But then I went on to Kohl's. Kohl's allows me to get out the house, but also have interactions with others. And I love it. I love being on a schedule. I love having to wake up. That job itself, it, <sighs> it's the lowest paying job out of the three. And I had the most joy. Do I have frustrations with it? Yes. Nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. The grass is not always greener on the other side. It depends on what you're looking for. But it made me happy. Like, I would go to work happily. Sometimes, you know, I would be in my emo emotions. But the following day, I'm back at it. And that's what I want. That's what I want. I remember... Because you guys know, I have always dealt with depression since I've been a little girl. So this is nothing new. But to the extent that I keep feeling so down, so worn, and so frustrated, so anxious, all of these things, it's been increasing too much to the point that I know it's not healthy for me. I know it's not. I'm doing a lot of emotional eating my thoughts are crazy <laughs> and I just need to be in a, in a better space where I have more control over things. Now, of course, at Kohl's, I won't have the say in regards to my schedule, but it will just be only the morning shift 
um, only the morning shift. And the Lowe's one was only be on the weekends. And Amazon will just be whenever I feel like I need extra money. That's what I'm doing. And Lowe's, the reason why I put in an application at Lowe's, it was just for something different. Now, I didn't know for my whole thinking, I didn't know I was going to be ex accepted back at Kohl's. Like, in the back of my mind, I don't ever try to say, Candace, you got it. Because you just never know what they need, what they have in their funds for. You just never know. I know that they were offering a position for stock. As I know that that, <laughs> that part of the department, they have a lot of turnover. The people that have been there for a while, they stay there. But the newer people, they kind of rotate, you know, in and out, in and out. They stay for a little bit and then leave to, to better jobs. Um, I will still be making $10 an hour at Kohl's. But I just have fun. And I'm not saying fun in a point like, ooh, party time at work. But it was just wonderful to wake up, get dressed, look presentable, and go to work. Um, I don't know. I liked my full-time job. I loved it. I did. But over the course of the years, I don't know what caused this trigger in me. I think it's probably from me being at home. Because when I wanted to get a job outside the building, Corona hit. And then we were all stuck at home. Um, so I, I did try to do things. But, you know, at this point, I, you know, I applied for different positions that would bring me off the phones. I didn't get that. And the thing is, I prayed. I've been praying about this for some years now. Especially recent, more recent, like in the past of the past couple of months, just praying so much that you know I make the right decision as a parent because it's scary. I'm not, I'm not uh, just a person that's going to be like, oh, whatever happens, happens. No, I have a person that relies on me and depends on me, and that's very important that I make the right decisions. Every decision I make will not be 100% correct, but that's okay. I'm hoping that this decision that I've made will put me in a good mindset emotionally and mentally so that I can enjoy, like he can see me happy and not complain about a job that makes me sad going into. It's just the heart. I just, I can't explain to others. If you haven't been in this type of position or understand where I'm coming from, especially if you haven't dealt with depression, anxiety, to know that something that you, you kind of have control over, but you don't have control over, that it's it's sad it's sad depression and anxiety itself is sad all over okay and i'm not saying that it's gonna go away but i feel like i'm gonna have more control over it um to get out of my funks as faster as possible fast as possible because i don't have something lingering on my shoulder that's bringing me down and that's going to be very important for me um I told my son that, you know, my hopes for him as he, when he gets older, is if you want to quit, not quit a job, but if you're not happy at a job, don't stay there as long as I did. Now, the thing is, I loved my full-time job. I loved it. I liked what I did. I loved it for the fact of the company. Let me put it like this. I love the fact of the company. I love my benefits. The job that I did was easy somewhat. When Corona hit, it was more stressful than ever. But I think that was across the board for a lot of people that were still employed. Employment or even what you did changed. Um, but this is, <laughs> the thing is, is these thoughts of mine were even before this hit. Um, I remember years ago, I was asking to work in the office. 
I would go in the office sometimes to work just to get out the house. I think for me being a person with depression, with the coronavirus, all of these things, and having to stay at home was just the icing on the cake for me. Um, my job, they're not going back to the office. <laughs> the they're not going back to the office at all. Most of the most there's some people not on the phone people, even some. The other positions that I can apply for, they're all home. So I will still be stuck at home. And um, my son is older, if you guys know. One of the reasons why I decided to do an at-home job for as long as I did is because I wanted to be here for my son so he didn't have to go to daycare, okay? And he's older now. He's going to be 15 and now it's time for me to think about myself, you know, not in the fact that I'm just, oh, you're old enough, whatever. No, it's just the fact that now I get, I get to have control over what I can do. I have more options available. I put myself in, I have been able to do finances and do well enough to save up a little bit of a lump sum that even if I didn't have a job or wanted to take an extended time off, I would be okay, but I'm not taking that route. I wanna keep going. I'm not trying to be stagnant. I'm still pushing forward. I'm not being lazy. I'm not setting up excuses for myself. I'm just changing the way I think and do things. And after nine years, it's scary. It's scary picking up and starting over somewhere else. And let alone, I have worked at Kohl's twice in the past two years. So, or three times. Well, no, this is my, this will be my third time in the past two years. So I feel comfortable with the company. I have never looked into the benefits because I always had it at my full-time job. I still want to get things done for my son and I'm going to have two weeks off of basically work. Well, I will still be working at Amazon. I will still be doing that, picking up some hours here and there. But besides that, um, off for the next two weeks, we have a trip coming up, which I'm going to bring you guys along. Oh, and then after that, we're on the grind. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm emotional. I'm sad. I'm everything at this time and and that's okay. That's okay. Um I have never been the one to think everything's perfect cuz everything's not perfect and that's why I share what I share because I don't want to just show the good. I just don't want to show the bad. I want to show the in between, the ups, the downs, the middles everything because that's what life is and I think it gives allows people to have a full picture of who I am what life is about and not just seeing one side I think sometimes uh definitely on social media we see one side you either see the good the bad but nothing like the you know you don't see a lot of everything and I don't know y'all my manager just texted me so I'm gonna end this video here see what she has to say and <sighs> on to the next adventure y'all it's scary <laughs> it really is I'm excited though but just follow along we'll get through this together and figure out our next steps yeah two weeks off mm. my goodness <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the best little vacation ever all right i'll talk to you guys soon bye